What's the most illegal thing you've done this year? I did a survey at a pizza hut on my phone that gave me a code at the end for a free drink. I screenshot the code and just present it to them every time I go there for another free drink instead of doing the survey again. It's illegal to lie to the police, but I told a cop to have a good day when I did not want him to have a good day. Had a sexual experience in the first floor section of the Crabtree Valley Mall parking lot in Raleigh, North Carolina from 7-8 p.m. on April 1, 2023 in public view. I smoked weed in a state where it is illegal. It will officially be legal here August 1st when the governor finalizes the bill. I'll finally be a good citizen. I stole 15 boxes of top secret documents and when the authorities asked for them back I told them to piss off. Traded streaming service passwords with people that aren't in my household, for services I've never paid for since my donor account was a distant family member that hasn't noticed I'm still on their account yet. Use an expired coupon. That then lead to a chase that lead to some stuff. And a downed military helicopter. In my defense, I was very... Very drunk. Smoking weed and helping my friends get it which is technically drug dealing even if I don't profit of it. Do I think it is a heinous crime? No, but it is more illegal than domestic violence here in Poland. I work in a retail store. I had something priced at $2 in my pocket and they closed out the register where I work. I went and pay for it and they said come back tomorrow. It was the last one. I took it home and came back two months later then paid for it. No I won't tell you what it is because it would leave the story boring and right now it's provocative. It gets the people going. Drove over 240 km hour 5 a.m. empty freeway but still silly and easily car impounded court case to answer. I've actually stopped regularly committing any sort of crime now that Delta ATHC vapes are pretty easily accessible. I guess I have no reason to fear cops anymore, at least personally. But I doubt I'll get over that habit anytime soon. Stolen groceries as I'm steadily being priced out of my hometown and narrowly avoiding eviction. I need a miracle. Pray for me. Faked an e-bill. I mean, I faked the date so I can get refund, because I wasn't with my car. I took blah blah car. Edit for travel expenses, like 50 euros toll. Don't tell anyone. But those carrier bags that you have to pay 20p for. Yeah I haven't paid for one for 6 months and talks with Warner Brothers about making it into a film. When shopping, the cashier did not charge me for items on the bottom of my cart, and I noticed and didn't say anything. I paid for what he rang up, and left the store with nearly $50 worth of pop, spring water, and cat food that I didn't pay for. Scanning a copied movie case barcode off the internet in order to buy a movie that isn't available for digital purchase. It was totally worth it though. Heavenly creatures. When you turn 18 in Brazil you're supposed to enlist yourself in the army, and luckily be dismissed, well I'm 20 now. I didn't say ooh, big stretch the other day when my dog stretched in front of me. I'm hideous. I know. For the last 8 months I had been driving with my car inspection expired, and my driver's license expired a week ago. Only realized this yesterday. I stole some top secret documents and left them out and about in my golf club before selling them to hostile states. I also attempted a coup earlier last year. Oh well, I guess it will be probably be fine. I haven't put the registration tags on my car yet. So I'm driving around in what looks like an unregistered vehicle even though I paid the tax. Cool face. Speed. Considerably. Or try to find Cheers of the Kingdom online for free. I really want to play it but I'm not forking over $60 for a game that has FPS drops and stutters on the only damn console you can play it on. I'll just wait till they make a better switch though. I don't trust those sites and I'd rather not get caught. I sometimes smoke a joint in the dog park. It's technically illegal for me to smoke weed in public but I'm an adult so the police don't care. There's a cop who takes his dog to the same park most evenings and I know he has noticed me smoking but has only ever winked. I carry drugs around with me almost all the time because you never know when you might need them. I'm a very forward-thinking individual when it comes to opportunities to get high. Getting pulled over with my male 15 friend make 16 in his dad's car he stole and snuck out with and he only has his permit, and we got pulled over and caught at 3am by a cop in front of a police station. Or the most illegal thing I've done this year is being high as far and take pepper spray with me to a concert. It's illegal to carry it here even if it's for self-defense. Had a good time explaining that to the cops. Friend of mine is applying for a job at a military organization here in the UK. A bloke called me up for a character reference. Asked if my friend had ever done steroids. I lied through my teeth and said no. Worst thing is my friend is quite open about it and probably told the interviewer anyway. Uh, just this year, 
Being in school they asked me what I'd do if I was in the Great Depression also this was a document in on Google Docs, I feel like this is kinda weird but I said, being honest I'd probably kill myself, just being honest. Well the most illegal thing I did was eating Clorox powder stuff in an attempt to kill myself. So it was in this year it was 2021 but the fact I had proof I tried to get it to happen and there was a conversation about it, and I tried to initiate a gang bang. I probably broke a hundred laws in my country this year alone. I'm not a criminal, I'm just a college student. My country has the best laws but not the citizens who follow them. Going 30 over the speed limit given it was just a very long road with no one nearby and I've driven it like hundreds of times or drinking at 17. Me and my girlfriend conned a bar in London to give us free champagne and shots because we just got engaged. They even gave us a card. I called our buyer up to exchange my glasses, but I never sent back my original pair. So now I have a free pair of prescription Ray-Bans. I got into a bar fight and don't know what happened to dude after. I also got my shit rocked by several security guards afterwards and woke in the hospital. So far it's the highlight of this year. Somehow managed to buy drugs in Nevada with a fake ID. Good ass fake ID. It looks and feels like shit in Nevada is notorious for knowing and arresting you on the spot. Never going back again just in case. I helped convert an airsoft trifle into a real one. We did end up changing half the parts with a real steel M16. At the end it shot once and disassembled like Lego. Working at McDonald's I found out that if you drop a drink, you get a free replacement. I was thirsty one day so I dropped a drink when it was almost finished, and I got a free replacement. Took off at 60 miles per hour in a 30 zone right in front of a cop modified exhaust too. Let me off with a warning to keep it on the track. I'd have to look up prison sentences to figure out which one is the worst. I don't do anything morally wrong, but I disregard the dumber laws of man. I lost my card for the bus and had to wait two days for a new one, so I bought one one-way ticket and stamped that every time I took the bus those days about four times. I had to pay 15 euros for the new card so it might just cancel out. Phone was dead and I couldn't use my ticket, and I was broke so I couldn't get another one, so I got on the subway without paying. Also I parked illegally, and one time I didn't want to go through a tunnel so I made an illegal turn. That's it. Smoking a weed, steel in markets, drinking beer and vodka mixed with cola, and with fresh barmy 15 and I resident of Russia. I would say I pirated some video games, but I actually just played video games I pirated last year so. I used my expired military ID to get discounts and free stuff where businesses offer perks to current military folks. I guess I still look the same as I did in my ID photo because that bitch expired in 1997. In 25 years. Not once has anyone ever said anything or even noticed. Drove 45 over the speed limit on an open stretch of highway earlier this spring in the dead of night with no cars in sight. 